They're hard not to miss, and tonight mm -hmm. we're getting answers about traffic signs all around the metro area still covered in plastic months after they were installed. Those signs are all along 217 I-5 and on I-405 near the Markham Bridge. So why aren't they working and what's ODOT doing about it? We sent Chris Woodard to get some answers and he's live now in Southwest. So what'd you find out, Chris? Well, for starters, what we found out is these things are all still covered up. Take a look, you can see these signs here along 405 not doing anyone much good. Now, ODOT says that this is because they want to take their time and make sure when drivers do finally start seeing the signs, they're working correctly. But we discovered today there have been plenty of bumps in the road to getting these things up and running. They're easy to notice, but there is nothing to see. Signs wrapped in plastic bags and duct tape. It'll get going when it's ready to get going. Now, more than a year after most of these signs were installed as part of a new program, they still are not in use. I went to ODOT for answers. So why the delay? Well, there's been no delay, but we haven't yet inaugurated the system yet. We're not going to launch anything until we're sure it's safe to launch. The signs are part of a large technology upgrade for ODOT. Some of the electronic signs will pass along information about drive times and problems ahead. But most of these, on the side of the road, will be advisory speed signs. All of them controlled here inside ODOT's Traffic Management and Operations Center. It's cost an awful lot of money to add an extra freeway lane out there. If we can make the roads work more efficiently with what we've got, I think that's what the public expects us to be doing. But at this point, the still wrapped signs obviously aren't helping any drivers. We've even learned ODOT purchased those signs in 2011 with white faceplates to look like normal enforceable speed limit signs. But after the purchase decided they wanted them to be advisory speed signs, meaning they'd all need to be changed to yellow faceplates. Well, they were changed, but ODOT says the cost was minor. The only reason they bought the signs without knowing the full plan is because they got a good deal. And back here live now, right now, ODOT tells me that testing is still underway on these signs. There are still some bugs they're trying to work out, but they are hopeful, they say, that they will have these signs running by the end of the summer. Live in Southwest Portland, I'm Chris Woodard for Coin 6 News. And we'll